As all great champions do, Dennis, they finish in style. And they're certainly doing that now. Don't hit the black full ball. Just flick off it. Flick the black. 96. Oh, take your time, Ronnie. Oh, he, oh, oh he's miscued. Unbelievable, no century break. One opportunity and great sportsmanship from Kyron Wilson. And nice to see the two players having a chat there. Six world titles for Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. Unbelievable. Just one away from Stephen Hendry's record. It's great to see them chatting away. But Ronnie O'Sullivan is the 2020 Betfred World Snooker Champion. Well played to both players. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been, without doubt, the most poignant build-up to any world championship we've had here in the 44 years at the Crucible. And before we interview these two Herculean men, on behalf of everybody connected with this fantastic event, we wanted to extend our gratitude to a number of people. Firstly, to tens of thousands of key workers up and down the country who will never meet. And thanks to them, all of us have got back to the job we love, to the sport we love, to the city we love. Equally, to all the familiar faces here at The Crucible, their staff and the World Snooker staff who've put an incredible amount of health and safety in place. You've never seen uh, so, many, uh, so many protocols backstage, so much hand sanitizer. Thanks to them, we have felt safe. And lastly, a thanks not only to these two, but to all 31 professional snooker players who turned up here in Sheffield on day one to bear their souls to the world and entertain us for 17 long days and remind us what a big part of our lives sport is and will continue to be for many years to come. And Kyron. I'd like nothing more than to give you a hug at the moment. I can't, for all the obvious reasons. This has been an absolutely incredible run to your maiden final. Only 30 men have ever played in the sports ultimate match. That's how hard it is to get here. You should be so proud of what you've achieved over these 17 days. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm 28 years old. I'm not going to beat myself up too much. I'm playing the greatest of all time. Um, for me, it was a, a dream come true, knowing that I was going to be playing Ronnie in the final. Obviously, you know, you can't respect him too much or else he'll walk all over you, which is what's happened to me today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for me, look, it's, it's brilliant. I've got the two most important people to me sat right here. They'll learn from this. He'll make them stronger as well. Listen, you said you rolled over today, but you could have rolled over at 8-2 last night, and you got yourself right back in the hunt late on. You showed some real character last night. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fighter. I'll always be a fighter. Um, I just I really struggled in the first session. I think we probably both had a little bit of a hangover from the semi-finals. Um, and then I just thought, you know, I just relax, let, let the shackles off, go for it, and... Um, I was just annoyed that World Snooker wouldn't let me carry on and play the whole match last night, to be honest with you. Well, you mentioned that semi-final. I've got to tell I'm not sure whether your brother Taylor told you this, but he came into the press room and spoke to us and said, at the beginning of that frame, he didn't know whether he was going to wet himself or be sick. And he walked six miles around the circumference of Sheffield. There were millions of people glued to their televisions. You somehow scraped yourself off the floor. That semi-final victory to book this maiden final was breathtaking, and it will never, ever be forgotten. We're not quite sure how you came through that. I'm not sure myself. Um, yeah, obviously... You know, it, it could well have been Anthony stood here right now. Um, I got... Anthony, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, I was a bit lucky in, in the decider, but yeah, it was a phenomenal match, one that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And um, yeah, hopefully, obviously, me and Anthony have a few more battles here over the years. But um, look, at the end of the day, the night belongs to Ronnie. He's, he was amazing throughout the final, um, shown his class when he probably wasn't quite at his best and um, still stuck it out. So um, he was awesome this morning, especially as well. I was very impressed. Well, that shows incredible class that you are, once again, turning the spotlight on Ronnie. One other thing I'd like to ask you, people sometimes say there are no characters in snooker anymore. It's absolute rubbish. Yours has been an incredible journey. It's only a few years ago you were off the tour, playing a little bit for fun, working in a bar. You've had these two fantastic young men added to your life. It's lit a fire underneath you, and here you are, up at world number six. This has been a great journey, and it continues to be so. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's um, lockdowns lit a fire on my head as well. The hair dye. Um, yeah, look, at the end of the day, I've, I've got phenomenal family, friends, um, coach, sponsors, everything behind me. Um, I'm a very lucky young man at 28 to have what I have and be playing the sport that I love and it's given me an amazing life and to perform in front of you guys has, has been an honour and I'm, I'm glad that obviously the crowd were allowed in for the final. It's, it's been amazing to perform in front of you guys. Kyron, spoken like a true champion. You have won three ranking titles and hopefully there will be a triple crown triumph coming soon. I can't hand you the silver medal, but would you please step forward to collect your runner-up medal <laughs> and your cheque, yeah, that one, and your cheque for £200,000. Kyron Wilson, ladies and gents. Can we hug?